Oh, facts, cops, go to story. Yes, this is Gary Thompson calling. I just noticed the story up about you found some what you think is fentanyl or something stronger than fentanyl. There's a new story. Well, the public health out there is teaching to give chest compressions for a drug overdose. So they're killing not only drug overdoses, but anybody else with a breathing emergency. God. And every police officer knows what they're teaching at Direction 180 is wrong. Okay. Well, it's not good because it's costing the taxpayer a fortune. And the signs of drug overdose mimic any of the hundreds of causes of breathing emergency. Are you an officer with your first aid training? No, we're civilians in dispatch. Oh, okay. Well, every police officer out here in Ontario has first aid. Okay, I have to put you on hold for a 911 call. Okay, okay yeah, sure ahead. thing. Yeah. I'll phone the cops back. She's on a 911 call. I've talked to the cops out there and everybody in Halifax. They know what they're doing is wrong. Cindy McIsaac. God, she's the executive director out there. Your tax dollar going around teaching millions of people how to kill everybody. Deny, rescue, breathe, and pound on a beating heart. And the lock zone. God. Rescue breathing is more important than a lock zone. Signs of drug overdose mimic any breathing emergency. You don't be pounding on their chest. The newspapers out there in Nova Scotia publish to give chest compressions all the time. They're crazy. Absolutely crazy. And everybody says, oh, well, that's normal. Yes, it's Gary Thompson calling. I called uh, just a few minutes ago and you got a 911 call. Okay. Um, I read a story about the police found some what they think is fentanyl out there in Halifax. Anyway, okay. well, your health department is teaching chest compressions for a drug overdose. So that's the worst possible thing you can do for any breathing emergency. I've been trying okay, to. I'm, yeah. I'm so I, I know. I okay. Advice at all. Yeah, I know. Sure okay. That's um, right. Well, you can look it all up on my Twitter at Gary CPR. I've been publishing the medical journals. I've tried to stop Direction 180 from doing that for years. Okay, I would. Uh, yeah, I would try and get a hold of the public health minister. Oh, I've been there. Medical I've been there. I've been there. The exec okay. the executive director at Health Canada got canned for blowing the whistle on trying to save everyone's life. Just look it up for your own safety. It's costing the taxpayer a fortune because there's so many people left with permanent brain damage, lack of oxygen. At Gary CPR, G A R Y CPR, and look it up for your own safety. Gosh. Okay. Yeah, that's all I'm trying to do is make some awareness, okay, ma'am? Okay. All right, have a good day. Yeah, you too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good. Fucking. Child knows what they're teaching is nothing but mass murder. <laughs> to make themselves sick. Wait a second, he's got a breathing problem. What do you think you do? Oh, I don't know. Certainly don't give him no air. Whatever you do. <laughs> it's the last.